Hello and welcome back to another video. This week I'm going to do a monthly review which is going to be a new segment on the channel where I go through all of the images that I've taken over the last month and review them and show you what I think to be my top five images. Now this is not going to be that exciting for a lot of people because I mean my photos aren't that great however it is an interesting process to have a look and reflect on your own work and I guess this is what I'm trying to teach in this process is potentially a section of your time where you sit down and go through your images at the end of a month and just see how they go so I've just done a batch scan recently of a trip that I took last month and it's going to be really cool to look at so let's go through the top five photos of that month the trip I took was with my partner over to WA which is on the other side completely other coast I lived on I've lived on the east coast my whole life so this is the first time I've ever been to the west coast so it was really cool to see a bit of a different environment and as much as there was some similar stuff it definitely felt like a different place so it was really really cool to be able to go and travel over there and take a look down south along the southern coast of western Australia so let's see some of the photos that came from that so I've jumped over here in Lightroom and I have already picked my top five. The first one is this one here, and I don't know if you guys can see it too well, but this image um, really, really gets me because what I like about it is the textures in this image are really fantastic and it's got this, you know, bottle brushy kind of feeling over here, very Australiana, very, very nice looking plant with a bit of yellow in it and then you've got these rocks and these crazy granite rocks which just curved the coastline of the national parks we were looking at and it was just so wonderful and then kind of perfectly centered we have this island in the back which you know after all of that it kind of gives you a final focal place to look these kind of cart your eye around and then you finally see this in the middle of the image so that's something I really, really like about it all. So image number two. The reason I like this is because it's out of focus, to be honest. It's, it reminds me of like a little kid taking a photo of their parents or something eating lunch or I don't know, something about it is just adorable and nostalgic. The focus that I've missed is, you know, not necessarily a bad thing in this image. You've got this cool coastline. You can see the barrel distortion of my 35 mil across the horizon here it's not a very straight horizon but that's you know it shows you the what you're working with and how it how it forms the image so this is all shot on my Bessa R2M these images um, some of the nicest and sharpest that I've got out of them at all I think having a really good session on this holiday shooting was really helpful and I'm, I've definitely gotten a lot better with that camera so this is number two. I really like this image, as I said before, because of the nostalgia, because of that feeling of childiness. You're having a little sandwich by the beach at a little lookout. It's something adorable about it, but just the colors are just incredible in it. You know, you can see every single color. You got the greens, you got greens down here. You got this beautiful, beautiful ocean and you've got oranges in this, you know, burgundies and reds in this. It's just so lovely and the skin tones are just perfect here. This is all shot on uh, Kodak Gold 200, for those who are wondering. All of these images. Now this is classic, just because, you know, it's classic. I'm not going to speak too much about this one. I just like it, because it's simple. You've got a bit of sea mist. You've got all of this stark energy on this coastline. It's rocky, it's hectic, it's really, really nice bit of a later in the afternoon shot so you've got all this golden color and this nice golden light across here I think it's a great image nothing in particular just reminds me of what kind of photos I would take you know when I was first taking film photos that I would go down to a headland or a beach and just wait for this this moment this this afternoon light and then come in and uh, snap it up Here's another really good one um, of my muse, my partner. Um, and the reason I love this is just, again, there's a soft focus on the focal point here for me. That's really, really important um, for bringing a sense of energy into this photo. 
it makes it feel like a bit of a dream, a bit of a a surreal space. So I think that's really cool. Um, the hell hand blocking out the light, creating this triangle, pointing out to a direction out of frame, and then this this negative space where your eyes don't necessarily get drawn is actually just really interesting. There's a lot of nice textures. The grain's really nice in here. Grain check. So all in all, it feels like a little, I don't know, just a little nostalgic piece. Like it could be in a, you know, short film, you know, something like that. But anyway, it's a, a brilliant image. It's personal favorite of mine from the trip. And I think that it's going to, sitting in a nice spot and just this horizon line is just the white sands of the beach just so nice to split this image almost almost dead in the center now this one i really liked because of the street element i guess of this image i haven't completely finished editing it like i will straighten up this horizon here um and i'll probably make it a little darker but this is really cool just to have these three people in their jackets all seemingly looking at nothing out into the out into the wild out into the abyss it's a very cool image um especially with these two yellow puffer jackets and then the father presumably the father in a navy jacket right there really matching the ocean while the other two really uh, stand out it's really really quite a cool image the final image, which is not five, it's six, is what I think to be one of my best photos I've ever taken. So here, just before sunset, I took this image uh, at a place called Greens Pools. And there's these people snorkeling in the front, there's that person standing on that rock, and all of the grain is crisp. Crisp. And then you have this figure, lightly highlighted, sitting on a rock sun baking. It just really says something to me, like all of these incredible textures and rocks, and they all lead you into the image. All these leading lines. It is just one of the best things I've reckon I've ever, ever created. So I'm going to get this one printed pretty well and soon. I would say I'll send it to the printer today uh, to get a few prints done. So if you guys are interested in seeing that or would you like a copy of the print, just let me know, comment down below if you're interested. That is all for this week. They're my five photos plus this bonus incredible one that is in review for the month of April. Pretty cool. Um, I would recommend you do this in your own time as well to sit down Take some time, look at your photos that you've taken over the month. It'll really, really help you reflect on your work as well as give yourself some time and separation from the work to see it in a new light. For me, it's really powerful that it's two weeks, three weeks after I got back from that trip and it's good to then scan it in, slowly look at them and remember that you took some absolute crackers while you were there and also see them in a new light. So there's some adorable prints and there's some stuff that I really like out of it, but they are just six photos from may if you like this segment that'd be really cool if you guys could like the video and let me know that you want to see more reviews of my photos over the month thank you for watching the video cheers